it's a source of ability, power, right? And action and a drive, right? To the highest level of the human potential. So that means if you love, right? You have the ability to, to, to do so much. Like for example, a mother's love can go so far. Meaning that if a mother, right, seeing that, you know, maybe a car was stuck on a, on on this child's feet or something and and or the car was gonna roll over, the mother's love can override that, meaning that the power that the mother have, she can you have strength to basically lift the car. Wouldn't be able to do it any other time, but based on the situation, all the love that the mom will have will all generate so much power that will give him give her almost supernatural strength. Because when you love, there's no doubt. Do you see what I'm saying? The devil, so the love gives no room for doubt. So if you love the right way, then your projection of abilities is endless, right? But whatever your projection is, whatever you're loving, whatever you care about, you're going to fully be able there's no shyness you're not you're not um worried about what you're saying or what you're doing simply because the love is a mechanism that overrides everything you see what i'm saying so that's why you have the ability to love and if you have the ability to love then you'll be able to do so much tremendous things to persevere in James 1 is truly to love. You have to love what you're doing. Anything that you do, you have to actually love it to be able to be good at it. There is nobody that has done anything. If, you, if you're in sports, if you're in politics, if um, anything that you do. If, if you're preaching, you're a pastor, evangelist, if, you know, you're a businessman, all the greats that are great at whatever they do, they have to love it somehow. Even if there was a call, they're crooked. If they love being crooked, then that still gives them abilities, even though it's a wrong way of doing things. See what I'm saying? The only way to override that is is, is not being. Is is there's good love and there's bad love. But you notice both of them are love. Do you see what I'm saying? Both of them have power. But the good love is more powerful than the bad love. But it doesn't matter if bad love is there and it's projecting. If the other side does not love what they're doing, they will never win. Because it's, it's like an unlimited source of power to be able to find the true power of God and to, to, to have unlimited source of capability, of strength, power, knowledge, wisdom, is through love. God says, spend time with me. Have a relationship with me. Read my word. Project my words. Understand my movements. Find my ways. Focus on me. Don't focus on anybody else. Persevere. You know, do so many things. It is because it is the foundation of love. Because once it's set in stones, your ability is endless.
it's unlimited it cannot be stopped because your projection is endless it keeps going in cycles and cycles and cycles and it keeps rising and growing because of love so if the world refuses to love if the world does not put human lives first right and they love objects then the love for the objects is going to get them to do things right that are very detrimental to society simply because their love for objects right and the objects there is no life in there but there's life in us so you got to be what you gotta basically